Okay, to uh, extract the logs from the IDS X64 panel and uh, most IDS panels, uh, you'll need one of these IDS panel interface cables. It's basically a serial to USB converter. The red cable goes to the top, like that. Now, no comments about this uh, uh, bird nest there. This is uh, my testing panel which I do a lot of my uh, testing work on. Now if you are on a panel, I think it's version 2.52, you don't have to do anything with the jumpers. You can just plug it straight into your USB port on your computer and then you will launch the IDS Swift software. Right, you'll need to log into the IDS Swift software. The username is admin, the password is admin. Now you could either do a new user or you could open a old uh, old setup. I already have one that I've already configured. Okay, so if you, it's a new account, we'll I'll just do this for uh, the video. Right, if it is a new installation or an installation that you don't currently have on your uh, set up well then you'll have to uh, make a client detail for it there you can see now I'm going to do the x64 uh, my firmware version has to be 2.7 although it will um, self-correct if it's wrong and then I think the uh, code for installer is not six nines and then again six nines and then the correct uh, connection is direct connection now um, if you can't find these details uh, then you, you've got to look on the panel and you'll see the uh, what do you call it a little sticker there saying what the um, firmware version is although once somebody's updated it the obviously they probably wouldn't write the new firmware version so best is to just check the hardware version and then um, start with the uh, firmware version at least at 2.5 if you don't have a x64 panel then you'll select one of these but then look on the panel and you should find the um, little sticker there I've done this with the 805 range as well and it works fine okay so you'll select the direct connection and there's the template for direct connection so you'll just say create so there's the one we've just made it's called test and I want to connect to that panel so I'm going to say connect and there's the direct connection so what this com port is here is it's asking you which uh, port you've connected your ids uh, serial to uh, usb interface so basically it's easy you can if the four doesn't work use three if you want to get technical you can go to computer management and you can go look at the port and see what number it is there it is and now you can see that it's probably on com4 yeah it says com4 and there it says com4 so it's not com3 so i know for sure Okay, so there you see it worked on COM4. There it says IDS USB download station version 1. It's on COM4. So now I connect it to COM4. And now I want to receive the event log. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to receive the whole panel anyway. Just to uh, um, always make a copy, a local copy. So I'm just going to receive the whole panel so I can see what the panel settings are right now i have all the panel settings and now i want to get the event log so there's the event log i could say uh, receive log now you can select all these items yeah i just want the entire log i'm going to receive the log here we go and the event log will tell you all the uh, alarm and fault conditions that have happened on the panel and this is very good for fault tracing especially when your client says to you that they keep having false alarms and they can't uh, they don't know what it is so this will help in finding out what is the false alarm because it'll give you a list of the zone that triggered each time uh, the alarm went off and then the following zones thereafter okay so here is the event log and you can uh, um, export this or print it it's quite good to have it uh, in an export uh, fi exported file And you can see that uh, it's starting from where we currently are. There you can see it even knows that we did the download, auto test and so forth. So now we want to see what alarm activations took place. You see here it has the uh, little uh, the number. So it gives it a number, kind of like how Windows uh, error viewer works, event log. Okay, so here is the uh, description. Now we know that, um, see there's comms fail. I, say, I get that a lot. And again, the uh, open user. Okay, so you can now analyze this and see what the 
a false alarm issue was and here you can see the zone there's the zone number so I know that if I go look at zone 28 I'll know what the problem was there it says received an army remote button okay that's fine that was at 159 and 24 uh, p.m. but if you look at uh, the earlier event we had let's see when this uh, violation took place here was the arming the user armed it using a remote and then uh, we see that shortly afterwards uh, that was um, literally two minutes afterwards there was an alarm and it was zone 28 zone violation and then again at 56 and then zone 28 again 1216 1230 1232 so obviously this zone 28 is a problem so that allows me to go and filtrate what is going on on zone 28 okay so the point of this video was to get to the um, event log you can print it out you can export it i prefer to export it and uh, that brings me to the end of this video if you want to see it in excel i'll quickly show you you can see it in excel here it's a little bit uh, more compressed but uh, it does give it to you in the uh, line, in, in a single line. You see there it is, zone violation, zone 28. Okay, so that brings you to the end of the video. You have now know how to upload, I mean how to download the logs. And then you just uh, disconnect and uh, you, could, you might want to synchronize the panel's time. Alright, thanks for watching. Cheers.